Okay, guys, sorry. It was a temporary going out, okay? So, okay, let's see. Wait, guys. Uh -huh. Yes, and welcome back. Woo -hoo. <laughs> okay, so now you guys, you listen to me. You see my face and you listen to me, yes? Okay, guys, now we got it. Oh my, oh my God, where is my kids? Everybody's going, no, I'm here. I'm here, come on back. No, 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 let's keep going to work. Okay, go back to work. Oh, you eating now, good job, boy. Okay, guys. So what are we doing? What we are? Oh yes, my monkey things. So my monkey man, my monkey say, ah, ooh, 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 what happened? Ah, ooh, 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 what happened? That's crazy. And I say, just relax, relax. We're gonna give you one minute to the computer and do it again. Okay, so now here, pay attention. I am here and I'm gonna do this one at the last time because we lost time, so many. So we have three, I, five plus three equals eight. So which one is greater than five is greater than, right? So this is greater than three. So five right here, greater than three. So do you write it? Do you write it boys and girls? You're gonna make me happy. It lasts like a 10 minutes, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna put in these numbers back and I'm gonna do another one. Okay, well, we're gonna do eight plus three. Now, look at that. Eight plus three equals. So I'm going to put in here eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to put in three right here. One, two, three. Woo, look at that. The difference with, with my balance, my monkey balance. Eight is more heavy Ooh. Like than three. So I'm going to put in right here eight greater than three. So now we're gonna count. I'm gonna add my ladybugs and I'm gonna count my ladybugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now I'm gonna look in for my number eleven. Eleven, aha. Uh -huh. Look, what is this? 11. Now you're gonna write in 11. So this is my 11 number. So now you're gonna write in. So right here, 11. Everybody can see? Yes? Tell me if you can see that. <laughs> Okay, so you want to write it, okay? Look, A plus three equals 11. I want you writing the number with letters, like this. Can everybody do it like this, please? Okay, I'm going to do with my paperwork. I'm going to do right here. This is going to be like this. Eight. Eight. Plus three equals 
11. I'm going to write in 11 right here. E -le -ven. Everybody can write it. Now I'm done. I want to do this job later again because we are, we have to go. Miss Karina is ready right here. Good job, everybody writing. What about Ronnie? Hi, London. London, you're so chunky. You're going to eat too much at home. Yeah, huh? Okay, everybody writing down. Good job. So I'm going to clean it up and Miss Karina is going to be here with you guys. Okay, she's going to do one project. Okay, I'm coming back. I'm going to leave my lesson right here like this. Okay. And you can do a good job with her. Okay. Ready? Okay, see you soon. I'm coming back later, okay? Uy, qué rico estirarse. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Good afternoon. Let me see he is here. Hello, Amaya. Hello. Oh, Victoria Zapat is here. Is that a miracle? <laughs> hello, Elijah. Oh, Elijah, what are, what are you doing? Are you painting? That looks so cool. Hello, Tanishka. Hello, Ro. Hello, Corbo Brownie. Hello, um, yum, 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 yum. Hello, Gia. Hello, Gigiana. Hello, Zara. Hello, somebody that is not there. Hello, Milan. Hello, Emmanuel. Hello, Camila. Yum, yum, yum. Eating, eating, eating. Yum, yum. Hello, Kingston. Hello. Oh, Sean is hiding. I know. And Ryan. Hello, Blonde. Hello, everybody. Let me see. You know what? I haven't asked you. In many days, how are you feeling? I know that these days are a little bit crazy, to say the least. Yes, we are stuck at home. Uh, we cannot get out. Uh, we cannot go to, hello, Kyra. Hello, hello. We cannot go to, hello, Emanuela. We cannot go to the park. We cannot go to the beach. We cannot go to the pool. So sometimes at home, we're starting to feel a real weird. Yes, sometimes, some days. Some days you are like, ah, I want to go out, happy. I want to see my friends. I want to see my teachers. And some days you're happy that you're at home just doing online classes with Miss Luz and me. Yes? Okay, so I'm going to show you some pictures. And you are going to tell me if you are feeling like that person. Okay? Let's see. Look at this one. How do you think this person is feeling? Oh, he's bored, right? So sometimes, sometimes during the day, you can feel bored if you don't have anything to do, and that is okay. But I don't want any face like this when we are in the online classes, right? I don't want to see you like this. No. If I see you like this, I say, no, they are getting bored. So are you bored now? I hope not. Let me see another one. 
you went to bed really late and you woke up really early and you didn't have enough rest because if you have enough rest you don't feel tired you feel good and full of energy yes so i hope you're not feeling tired see no zara is jumping so she's not tired good 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 Okay, let me see another one. <laughs> Sometimes we feel like this lady. <laughs> Sometimes we feel silly. Yes, show me your silly face. I want to see your silly face. Show me a really silly face. <laughs> show me your really... Oh, that. I love those faces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we feel silly and that is okay, we can feel silly because that makes mommies and daddies laugh, your brothers and sisters, your teacher, when you have those silly faces. So it's okay to feel silly, yes. <laughs> sometimes it's okay to feel silly, yes. Just don't feel silly when you are in the middle of something important. Okay, if you're in the middle of something important, don't get sick. Okay, if your mommy or daddies are working for home, from home and they're in the computer in a very important Zoom meeting, don't go behind him. No, don't feel silly that way, okay? Because then they're going to, who you doing? I'm going to show you how are they going to get if you do that. Let me see where is um, I where is the place I want. Oh, see if you do that, if you feel silly and you go behind mommy when she's working in the computer, look at that face. Oh oh, she's gonna get how? She's gonna get. Hungry, she's going. <laughs> yes, you don't want mommy so that is to get angry, right? Because then, ay, 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 mommy and daddy get angry. You don't want that. So, uh, let me see. Let me see. Hmm, what other? Oh, look. Look at this one. This kid is a scared. And it's okay to feel scared sometimes, especially in these crazy days with the virus going everywhere. At the beginning, when we started listening to all those news that the virus was coming, that we needed to stay at home, I, I felt like this. I was a little bit scared because I didn't know what was going to happen. So it's okay to feel scared sometimes. But when you feel scared, what are you going to do? You can talk with somebody. You can talk with mommy. You can talk with daddy. You can talk to your teachers and say, listen, I'm feeling scared. Help me. Okay, so it's okay to feel scared sometimes. If you see a movie, sometimes movies, some movies are scary. And then you go to mommy's and daddy's bed and you go and stuck in the middle, right? Uh, I know you, I know you. You know that sometimes I, you do that and go mom, to mommy's and daddy's bed, yes? Like this. You go really quiet. And you open the door. And you go and jump into mommy's bed. Yes, when you feel scared. Ah, uh, I know that. Because when my kids were little, they did exactly that. And then I say, what, 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 is, what is this? What is this? And it, and it were my kids sleeping in the middle of my bed. Thank God I have a big bed. And I have a space for everybody in my bed. Yes. So it's okay to feel scared sometimes. But, but, 
I want to see you. Where is the face I'm looking for? I want to. I want to see you. Like this. Happy. I love to see you happy. Yes. It make my heart so happy when I see you smiling. Yes, let me see. Show me all your teeth. <laughs> yes. London, you're not happy. Talk. See, if you're... Why not? See, when you're not happy, my heart gets sad. My heart gets sad because I want you to be happy. Okay? So let's see. Show me. Ah, yes, London. Carol, let me see your smile. Yes. And all of you have such a beautiful... Bonnie, what is happening? You are scared of me? Don't get scared. No. Yes, I love to see you smile. Yes, Amaya. Yes, Sarah. I love it. I love it when you smile. Good, good. It makes my heart so happy. Yes, Hunter. Yes, I love your smile too. Okay, so let me put all my faces. Oh, look. We are going to practice how to set the table. So, well, while I put all my faces away in my little box, I want you to get a placemat. I took, oh, look, this one is, oh, oh what is happening with this, my placemat? So, a placemat, I got one from my classroom. Or you can get, where is it? Or you can get a big table cover. You need a plate. You are going to need a cup. You are going to need fork, knife, spoon, and you are going to need napkins, okay? So get everything ready to set the table. Cup, plate, fork, knife, spoon. If you have the smallest spoon and the biggest spoon, perfect. I couldn't find my biggest spoon disappear. So I don't have my biggest one. I have only my smallest one. And your table cover or your uh, placement, okay? So get ready, Get find everything. I'm going to give you three minutes. Yes, Camille is setting the, the table, good. So get everything ready while I put my emotions here, my emotions cut away. Let me put everything here away. Yes, because I cannot leave Miss Lou's class a mess. Um, and I'm going to set my table too. If you have a small jar with water, that helps. Look at this. The light is, is off. You cannot see me. Oh my goodness. Miss Carino disappeared! Where is Miss Carino? Where is she? Where is Miss Carino? Okay, are you getting ready? I don't see that you're moving. Elijah is not moving. Emmanuel is not moving. Kison is not moving. Sean is not moving. London, London is shopping. No, L London has a store now. He is the seller. London, what are you going to sell to me? Clothes? Jewelry? I'm ready to go shopping. Ooh, I see, I like that one. Thank you. Yes, I'm here. Hello. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Do you have everything to set the table? Yes? Get, f find the things. Go, go. I'm letting, I'm giving you minutes. So get ready. Yes, I see Rod and he's getting ready. What happened, Tanisha? Where are you think to set the table? Go, go. Uh, Elijah, go, go. Get everything to set the table. Emmanuel, come on. Come on. 
especially you, Emmanuel, you're going to have a, a little brother or sister, and you need to help mommy a lot. So get your things to set the table. Your mommy is going to need a lot of help. Yes. Yes, good, Ronnie. Ronnie is ready. Let me see who else is ready. Taniska is getting all the things. Yes. Oh, Amaya is getting ready. Good. Ooh, yes, Sarah. Good job. Yes, yes, yes. Elijah, come on. Where is your, your placement? Yes, G is getting ready. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, who's that one? Somebody. Somebody with a... Oh, Sean is getting ready. Okay, good. Okay, I'm going to get ready too. I'm going to go to that table I put back. Uh, okay, let me see. Okay. You know what? I think, let me, let me this. Let me try this so you can see me. Oh, yes, like that. Okay. Right there. Okay, so I'm going to give you two options. If you have a placemat like this one, an individual one, you are going to place it like this, in front of you, okay? If not, I'm going to use this beautiful piece to cover my entire table because I want a fancy table. Yes, you remember how I always tell you when we are in our classroom that when you are eating lunch, you need to imagine that we are in a fancy restaurant. Oh, everybody's frozen. You need to come to life. Okay, you're coming back. Okay, so what is the first thing we are going to do? I'm going to do it so it's straight for you. First things, the plate. So everybody, place the plate just in front of you. Okay? Now, you need the napkin. I'm going to get the napkin. I'm not going to do this one. Okay, it's done. Ah, no. This, does this look good? No, right? No. So I'm going to get my napkin. I'm going to fold it really nicely. And it goes to your right. Okay, wait. To your right, like that? That is your right? Because this thing is, you are watching uh, everything like a mirror. Okay, oh, I see Ryan is setting the table. Yes, yes, fold your napkin. Yes, I'm here, I'm, I'm here. Yes, fold your napkins and put it on your right. Now, we need fork. Get your fork. Yes. The fork goes on your Okay. Is that your left? Oh my goodness. This is driving me crazy. Because I know you see everything. Now, oh, wait. <laughs> yes, on your left. Okay, now, knife, everybody, on your right. Yes, Ronnie, on your right, perfect. Okay, so, let's see. Plate, fork on your left, knife on your right. Now, 
if you have a big spoon for your soup, that spoon goes right here uh, with your knife, okay? On your right, just with the knife. Okay, good. Then I don't have my big spoon, it disappeared. So now the small spoon is for dessert. I know you love dessert. So the small spoon goes right here on top of your plate. Yes? Okay. Last, our cup. The cup goes on your right too. Okay, so again, plate in the middle. Fork to your left. Knife on your right. If you have a big spoon for your soup, goes right here. Okay, and the spoon for your dessert goes on top. With your cup. Okay, yes, yes, you are doing it. Let me check. Let me check. So show me, show me, show me. I'm going to go one by one. I'm going to see Tanishka. Let me see. Yes, good job, Tanishka. She did it. Yes, you did it good. Yes, the cup. Oh, now you have another plate. If you are going to have a salad, okay? Maybe you are going to have a little plate. It's not big like this one, it's a little plate. The salad plate, you don't have a space on this side because your cup is here. So you are going to place the salad plate to your left, okay, on this corner. That is if you like salad. I hope all of you like salad. Who likes salad? Let me see. Yes, Kia, good, good. Salad is good for you. Oh, okay, let me see who else. Oh, I see Ronnie working, working hard. Let me see, let me see your, your table. Let me see, yes, Ronnie, good. You don't like salad, Ronnie? Well, maybe when you grow up, you're gonna like salad. Don't worry, okay? Yes, you did good with, what, what are you spooning your fork on, on top of your plate? Now, look, left, right, over here. Okay, let me see, let me see who else is doing that. Oh, oh, Gia, I'm going to go there. Don't worry, I'm coming. Okay, yes, to your right. Okay, okay, good. Who else? Who else did, oh, Jackson, I'm going to see that. Let me see. Oh, Jackson, yes, Jackson. Good, see, that way, now you can help mommy at home. You have been there with mommy for oh, many, many, many days. Who am I, I'm going to go with you, let me see. Yes, Amaya, good, good. Good job, just, you need to try because mommy needs all your help. Let me see, I'm going with Ryan. Yeah. Yes, Ryan, good job. Yes, and your napkin, yes. And your plate, and I see that you have everything. Perfect, see? Now you can help mommies. You can help your mommies and they're going to be so happy. Oh, somebody's eating good. Let me see who's that one. Let me see who is eating something good. <gasps> Rice with black beans. Who is eating that? Who is eating that? Sean? Yes, Sean. Rice with black beans are good, good. But you don't eat, you don't need to eat too many of them. Because then you can get a stomach ache. Stomach ache. Just eat the right amount. Okay, are you ready? Because now we're going to practice another thing. 
I'm going to move this here. And I'm gonna, thank you. And I'm going to see it here. So you can see me really close. Right here. Okay. Let me see. You can see me? Yes. Let me move this part. Okay. So I'm going to start eating. Let me see. And I'm going to... <laughs> Do I look pretty? Do I look like I'm in a fancy restaurant eating like this? Making noise like, a, like a, a cow? No, oh my goodness. I hope you don't eat like this at home with your leg over there and just falling out of the chair. Oh, no, no, no. Let's see, what, what, is, what is my all far away okay no when you are going to eat you need to sit properly both legs together under the table where I, i'm too big to put my legs under the table let me move it okay oh and i know now i'm going to like this mm. yes Ah, oh, no, Miss Karina, no! You look like a cow, like an elephant. No. And I don't want you to grab your fork or your knife like this. No, like, like that. Do you see mommy and daddy eating like that? No. Yes, you need to get Grab your utensils, good. Like this, if I'm going to cut something, I grab and I cut, and I cut, okay? Put your, yes, put your fork. You, tomorrow maybe I'm going to bring a piece of a steak, and I'm going to show you how to cut a big piece of a, of a, um, a steak or a chicken. Oh, we can do that next week. Yes. Oh, maybe we can do that next week. And I'm going to show you how to cut your food. Okay. So with your left hand, I know I'm backward. With your left hand, you grab the piece and you move the knife. You don't move the fork. You move the knife and then Go and mm, and mm. Mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. yes. Can we talk with when we have our mouth full of food? Eh, no, nobody wants to see our mouth full of food. Yucky. <laughs> no. Yes, we eat with our mouth closed. Mm. Yeah, not like that. I don't want to look like a cow or an elephant when I'm eating. No, I want to eat like I'm in a fancy restaurant. When you go to a fancy restaurant, you don't see people eating like they're, I don't know, what? No, they mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes. Okay, so last things I want you to show you. I'm going to get my jar. So when you are at home, you don't make a mess. My cup is here. I'm going to get my jar with water. Oh, before I this, listen. When you finish eating and you don't want any more food, and let's say you are you are at home or you go to some uh, friend's house or you go to a restaurant. How the waitress is going to know that you finish eating your food? You are going to put your fork and knife like this. That means you are done. You don't want to eat anymore. 
okay? That is like a special sign, okay? You put your uh, utensils like that, that means you're done. You're full, your belly doesn't want any more food, and that's it, okay? So you can practice at home. When you don't want more, don't leave your fork and knife like that, no. In the middle like that, that means you are done. Yes? Good. See? Every day you learn something. Okay, now look at this. I have my cup and I have the little jars we use at home. Okay, so I'm going to open this one because this one has a cover. You can practice at home too. If I use just one hand, the chance is that when I'm doing this, I'm going to make a mess. One hand here, the other hand one here. That way I can hold really good my jar. And now I'm going to serve my water, okay? Especially at home, probably, probably you go just to the fridge, do like this, beep, and you get your water, right? But sometimes if we want juice, if we want lemonade, if we want something else, sometimes they are in a big jar, in a big jug. And those are especially hard to serve because you have small hands. Okay, so I want you to practice when you want something from the fridge. Get two hands. One to hold the jar like this and one to support one. And you go like this. Okay. Who I see Ryan is practicing. Yes, good. Yes, Emanuela, perfect. Good job. Yes, 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 Tanishka. See, if you get a, a, a jar or a jug that is too big, it's too hard with just one hand. Even it's hard for me, and I'm a big person. I'm an adult, so with both hands. And now, last important part. Let me move my computer and my microphone right here. Cheers. I don't drink my water like I'm an, uh, I don't know, an elephant drinking water like crazy all at the same time. And then my water is going to start falling over. Where, whoo, just a little bit, okay? And try not to make noise like this. No, no, no. Let, let's try again. Mm, yes, no, you're right, Milan. No, that, that looks like what? No, like this. See, no noise. Yes, thank you, Milan, for giving me thumbs up. Now, listen, when one day I see you again, I don't know when, when is that going to be, but I want to see you again. I'm going to ask mommies and daddies, how are you eating and drinking at home? Because I hope that you are drinking and eating like you are in a fancy restaurant with your mouth closed, not making noise, sitting properly, and all those good things that we learn here. Okay? Can you promise that you are going to work, eat, and drink good at home? Yes? Good. Okay, I'm going to put everything away. Give me one second. Let me get my table out of here. 
out of here. Okay, I'm oh I'm here. See? Yes. Yes. Good, good. What? Raya, what are you trying to destroy over there? Okay, listen. And um let me go. I have a book. You know, later you are going to be working in a worksheet like this one that has the community helpers, okay? Community helpers are all those people that help us to be healthy, to be, to feel secure, to look pretty, okay? And now I found a book that talk about dentists. Dentists are one of the community helpers. Sometimes, sometimes I'm going to show you something. Let me see if I, oh, wait. Let me see what is the one I'm looking for, yes. Sometimes when we go to the dentist, mommy say, oh, Camila, Emanuela, Sean, Gia, let's go to the dentist. <gasps> and you put this face. You get scared. <laughs> I'm going to the dentist. <laughs> no. I remember when I was small and my mommy said, oh, Karina, let's go to the dentist. Because I say, oh, if I have a cavity, ooh, what is going to happen? So I'm going to show you this book that I, I found that talk about going to the dentist so you don't get scared, okay? Sometimes my kids, when they lose a tooth, I remember which one, I think it was, I don't know, one of the kids in my classroom. Her tooth was loose. She was going to lose that, and she was so scared. No, it's okay. A new, a new tooth is gonna grow. Don't worry. Okay, so let's let's read this book. Going to the dentist. See, that is the dentist chair. Okay, I let me move like this so you can see the. Book. This is. Jude, Jude family. Mr. Jude, Mrs. Jude, Jake Jude, and Jesse Jude. Jake and Jesse need to have a checkup with their dentist. Mr. Jude comes to make an appointment. You can say, hello, hello. Yes, it's the dentist's office. Yes, I need to make an appointment for my kids. Okay, come. Friday at 3 p.m. Okay. A few days later, they go to see the dentist. Mrs. Jude takes Jake and Jesse in her car. Mr. Jude stays at home with Jasper the dog. The dentist is very busy. Oh yes, sometimes when we see this, the dentist of the doctor, those office, offices are like that, full of people and then we need to wait. So we need to be really patient. There are lots of people waiting to see him. Jake and Jesse play in the waiting room until it is their turn. Jake and Jesse meet the dental assistant. She calls them in to see the dentist. She's going to help with Jake and Jesse's checkup. Yes, we usually, when we go to see the dentist, they have a helper, okay? Hello, Jake. Hello, Jesse, says the dentist. Hello, say Jake and Jesse. 
The dentist says that Miss Jude can come in and watch. Yes, mommies and daddies can go with you to the dentist and stay with you so you don't get scared. Jesse goes first. Jesse sits in a special chair that can go up and down. Then the dental assistant puts a bead around Jesse's neck. Jesse has her teeth checked. There is a spotlight above Jesse that shines into her mouth. The dentist wears special gloves and a mask over his nose and mouth. He puts the chair back before he checks Jesse's teeth. So, because if you're sitting like this, it's really hard for the dentist to see your, your teeth. So usually they put your chair back with a big light right here and you and say, open your mouth. Ah, and you need to open really big. Let me see your big mouth. Let me see, let me see. Oh yes, like that. Like that you need to open your mouth. Good. Jesse opened her mouth wide, see? He uses a mirror to see inside. The dentist looks at each of Jesse's teeth. The dental assistant makes notes about them on the computer. The dentist has finished with Jesse. He is very pleased with her. Jesse has no holes in her teeth. Now she can breathe out her mouth. Now is Jake's turn. When the dentist checks Jake's teeth, he finds a small hole in one of them. This means that Jake needs to have a filling. <coughs> you know what? That means they have a cavity, a small hole in their teeth. And if you don't fix it, then you are going to get a really bad toothache. And you're going to wake in the middle, middle of the night. Mom, <laughs> my tooth is itching. It's hurting. And you don't want that, right? The dentist rubs some gel onto Jake's gum and makes Jake's tooth numb. So it doesn't hurt anything. Jake has a feeling. The dentist removes the bad part of Jake's tooth. A suction hose is used to keep Jake's mouth dry. Then the filling materials are prepared for the dentist. The dentist puts the filling in place. Now Jake will not get a toothache. See? They have here. This one was a bad uh, tooth. So the, the dentist put a filling, it's like a paste. And imagine, uh, imagine it's like uh, the texture of the Play-Doh. And you fill the hole and it's going to get a new. The children learn to take care of their teeth. The dentist shows them what will happen if they don't take care of their teeth properly. See, look at this. If you brush your teeth and take good care of them, your teeth are white and your gums are pink and healthy. But if you don't brush your teeth and you eat just junk food all day, then your teeth are going to get really yellow and your gums are going to look like brownish even black. Uh oh Can you imagine? You're, ooh, you're not going to look pretty. The dentist, um, oh, he says they should be careful what they eat and drink because sugar and sweet foods and, and sweet food and drinks are bad for teeth. Yes. We cannot eat sweets all day. I know they are good, 
But if you eat something that is sugar, is sweet, like candies and lollipops and ice pop and ice cream and chocolate, all those good things, when you finish eating those, go to the bathroom and brush your teeth, okay? That doesn't mean that you know, you never are going to eat a sweet again. No, you can eat it, but you need to. Next week, we are going to talk about how we need to brush our teeth. I'm going to borrow the big teeth from classroom number one, and I'm going to show you, Woo! okay? Yes, Jake and Jesse learned how to brush and floss their teeth really well. This gets rid of all food that can cause cold. Jake and Jesse must brush their teeth twice a day with a fluoride toothpaste to keep them clean and healthy. Oh, yeah, yeah, with my last page. Jesse and Jake go home. On the way out, Mrs. Jude makes an appointment to see the dentist for another checkup in six months. So if you, the end. So if you, you should go twice a year to the dentist, every six months, okay? So the dentist makes sure that you don't have any cavities in your, in your teeth and that they are really healthy. And if you are eating at, I know you are at home all day, and probably you have a lot of good food at home, and probably you have a lot of sweets at home, and ice cream, the cookies, ice pop, because I have seen you on my little laptop eating all those good things. So if you are going to eat that, brush your teeth really good. Yes, can you promise you are going to do that? Yes? Yes, yes, say yeah, Miss Karina. I'm going to brush my teeth, Miss Karina. Yes, please, I don't want to have any cavities. Okay, good, good, good. So let me see, uh, next week I'm going to show you how to brush and floss your teeth. Ooh, what are you eating, Chef? Let me see, let me see, Ryan. Let me see, I'm going to pin your video. Show me, show me what you're eating. No, you, yes. And what do you have there? Cookies, crackers? Oh, goldfish. I love goldfish. Good. Okay, so now is, um, is your turn? Is, are you coming? Okay. So is Miss Bas vas a hacer este ahorita? O se lo vas a hacer, okay. No, yo creo que es mejor si me lo dejo. Ah, sí, yo creo. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to see how the kids are here. They are taking their nap. They are like this. Ah? Okay. So when is sleeping? No, the kids here. So I see you tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow is Friday, tomorrow is Friday. Let's see what fun activities we're gonna do tomorrow, okay? It's Friday, it's Friday. Yes, okay. Mm, I love you, I miss you. See you tomorrow, okay? Ellos la tienen, ¿sí? Sí, yo se la mando. Ay. ¿Cómo se Okay. Miss Lucy is coming back. Okay, guys. Are you ready to work again? Huh? Let's see. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I love your face. Ay, 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 that's so cute, Ryan. Mwah. You're so beautiful, gorgeous. <laughs> I love it. Ay, ay, ay. 
beautiful Gucci. I love my kiss. Okay. The last year, Tanishka, where are you? Gigiana, where are you? Kisto, where are you? Camila, where are you? Emmanuel, I didn't see you today. Hi, Camila. Hi, Emmanuel. Oh my goodness, this is so serious. Mwah. Bello, bello, lindo. <laughs> Qué vergüenza le da mi nene hermoso. Eso le da una vergüenza a mi nene hermoso. Ay, Ryan, ¿qué comes? What did you eat, Ryan? Sara, Jordan, hello, Jordan. Oh, Sean, I love you well. This is the orca. This is orca. Yes, that's cute. Yes, that's the whale. His name is Orca. No? What's his name, Sean? <laughs> What's her yes. name? The whale. Yes, the killer whale. The killer whale, but his, the name is Orca. Yes. And he's saying, no, no, no. Okay, boys, let's go work. Remember that we're doing this uh, mat, mat work? Okay. Miss Luz is, his name is Luz, and his last name is, her last name is Matt. <laughs> okay. I always do it Matt. This is my beautiful monkey. Yes. Okay, let's keep going. So remember I say writing down eight plus three equals 11 and you're writing down. Get your paper, get your pencil, and we're gonna do one more, two more, three more, four more, five more, six more, seven more, a lot. We're gonna do a lot, okay? Because we need to practice, we need to practice. Right, Camila? Camila's ready. Okay, you guys ready? Oh, this is so beautiful. What is this, Sara? You have a paper right there. Okay, let me let me uh, let me see the papers. Let me see the papers. If I yes, this is good. Okay, you have this one at home. Do you have this one at home? Okay, uh, you want to do this one? Yes or no? Or we can do math. <laughs> I can't believe it. Look, then we're gonna do this one, the monkey's work. Yes, that's the monkey work, look. We're gonna do the monkey work, uh-huh. A lot of monkey's work. I hope so you're working at home because I'm not gonna do the whole package today. Okay, and then we're gonna do this flower, Dahlia. This, this flower is for Mexico. This is one of the uh, famous flowers from Mexico. Okay, so let's do this paper. If you don't have this paper print, you're gonna draw with me. I'm gonna show you how. Ready? Okay, so let's get scissors, markers, crayon, paper. Ready? I am ready right here. So I'm gonna show you how I can do it. And then we're gonna do math, and then you're gonna do uh, then you're gonna do a project with Miss Jessica. Is this one? And then we're gonna talking about look these people. You know who's these people? I'm gonna show you now later. We're gonna do the cutting people, the cutting lines right now. I wanna get black red marker. Red marker. And I'm gonna draw one rectangle. I'm gonna do one rectangle, big rectangle. One rectangle had two lines, right? That's the low lines. It has two short lines. See, I make a rectangle. I'm doing this. 
Then I'm going to do another rectangle with another color. So you can see, look at that. Two long lines and then two short lines. Like this. Then I'm going to get another color. Let's go get blue. And I'm going to do another inside. This is going to be fun. See? This is the same that you have it right here, but we can do better because we can do in colors like this. They don't have to be perfect, right? I always say they don't have to be perfect, but you can do it. And this is my last rectangle. I cannot do that more. Okay, I make it one, two, three, four. Whatever you wanna make. One and side to another one. Okay, I am ready with my scissors. I have my scissors right here. And I'm gonna cut my paper. So now, how, how I'm gonna cut my paper? Okay, I show you two times. You're gonna put your thumb on the first hole and the two fingers on the next big hole. So you're gonna put it outside to your body. Not right there, like this. Not like this, this is wrong. You're gonna do like this. So you're gonna hold in your scissors. And I'm gonna cut my first rectangle. Ready? I'm gonna cut from the red line because I make it red. So I'm gonna open my scissors, put it inside to the paper, and close. Open and close, 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 open and close. I'm gonna turn over my paper and I'm gonna do open and close. You guys have to cut because you need to practice. Open and close, this is good exercise too for your fingers. Open and close, 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 and I'm done. This is my square, I don't want it this one. I don't want it this paper, okay? Okay, remember when I say that I want to cut inside this. So I'm gonna go folding a little bit. That's right here on my line. So I'm gonna cut right here, a little bit, one line. See my paper, it's broken this way right here. So I'm going to put my scissors inside. And then I'm going to go open and close, open and close, and open and close. Look, I'm not going to broke in my, my rectangle, and I'm going to move over. I'm turning over. I'm going to cut my short lines. I'm going to cut my long line. I'm going to turn over. I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna cut. Look at that, I have one here. Okay, I cut the blue one. I'm gonna cut the green one. I'm gonna do, do this again, look. I'm gonna make a little lines right here. See my paper? Now I'm gonna open my paper and I'm gonna do right here, look. This is a tricky. So nobody knows how they can do that. We can do it. I'm gonna do right here. I'm gonna do right here. And I'm gonna do right here. And I'm gonna do right here. So you need to be careful, okay? Gentle. Jessica, Miss Jessica, please. I need um and 
Construction paper in colors and one blue stick because I don't, I, yeah, I have a blue stick right here. Look at that. This only I need a construction paper is right there, Miss Jessica. Right here. Back over there. Where is all the things for art? Look, I have one here, one here, and now I'm going to cut the little ones. And you're going to see what we're going to make it, what we're going to create it. So I'm going to cut a little bit. Right, Camila? Okay. So I'm going to cut a little bit right here. I, I say to me, Jessica, give me a construction paper because I'm going to put it on the construction paper. So you're going to see what we're going to create it here. Okay, right here. Right here. Around. Right here. And right here. Look. I cut this. Yes, but you broken, Gia. <laughs> you broken it. It has to be like this. Look. That's right. That's right. Look. See? Okay. I have right now my yellow, my red construction paper. You know what we're going to do? I'm going to put it right here. Look. Look how is this? Right there. Okay. So let's see. We're gonna create it something, okay? So let's put in glue. I'm gonna glue it right here. And I'm gonna put it right here on my real red paper. Red construction paper. Here. Now I'm gonna get this one, this one. And I'm gonna put it right here, look. This way. I'm gonna glue it. And I'm gonna put it right here. Uh, yes, like this. Okay. Okay, look at that. Ay, this is not Stick. This is not stick together. Hi, ay, ay. Okay, I'm gonna put it again. And this is not stick together too. This is not good. Okay, right here. Okay, now I have another one right here. I'm gonna put in more glue. I'm going to glue it around. Okay. So I'm going to put it right here. Look at that. See? I'm going to create something. We can create too many things, whatever you want it. You can do it whatever you want, okay? So this no have the same thing. Yes. I use it all my things, all my rectangles in the different size and different position. See, this is my work. Whatever you want to do that, you can put it right there. You can put it like this. You can put it like this. Whoops. This glue is not good. So this is, this is creation. Right? Whatever you want to cry, create it. Don't cry. <laughs> Okay, Camila? Okay, so I'm gonna do the next one. I'm gonna cut another paper. But what we gonna do? Maybe triangles, right? Or like this. You can put it like this, and this is a still triangle. I'm gonna draw the triangle. So triangle has three lines. I'm gonna use it this one, green. I'm gonna use it red. I'm gonna use it blue. Okay. Okay, we need to close the triangle. Everybody doing the triangle right now? Yes? Because if you don't have your paper, you can do it. Okay, now I'm gonna do my inside, my triangle inside with another marker. That's black. 
Then I'm going to do another one inside with another color. Brown. Okay, I have right now like this. So I want to cut my triangles. This triangle no has any cut pins right here. So then we're gonna do this size and this way, okay? So okay, I'm gonna cut my triangle, the biggest three different colors lines. I'm gonna close and open, close and open, close and open. I'm gonna do close and open, close and open, close and open, like this. Then I'm going around, then I'm going around, okay. So I have my triangle right here. So I want to cut the triangles inside. What we're going to do is fold it a little bit and make a little cut. Little cut inside. So then I'm going to put my scissors inside to the hole. And I'm going to cut up and down. Inside to the triangle. Right here like this. Ready? Yes, like this. And I'm gonna get only one triangle. Okay, this is my first triangle. I'm gonna get construction paper. I'm gonna put my triangle right here. So I'm gonna cut my other triangle. So I'm going to fold them a little bit and make a little cut right here. Then I'm going to put my scissors inside to the hole that I make it. Okay, I'm going to go around inside and I'm going to cut the lines, the lines. One line, another line, and I get my triangle like this. Ready? So I'm gonna put in my triangle right here. Okay. Okay, I have this little triangle. I don't wanna cut because this is too little. So what are we gonna do with the triangle? Let's see. We can do whatever we want. Just put in glue around the triangle. Put in glue right here. gonna glue it all around to my triangle and I'm gonna put it right here. Now I'm gonna put in my other triangle because I cut three triangles. So I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, you can see. And now I'm gonna put in my other triangle. I put in glue. And I'm gonna put in like this. See? See my triangle design? This is all about triangles. And we can put it like this, we can do it like this. Whatever you want to do that, you can do it, okay? It, they don't have to be the same that I'm doing. You can put in whatever you want. Any positions, okay? Any position that you want to do that. Okay, 
So I have this one and I have this one. Ready? So this is classroom one. Okay, here. I'm going to do another hard lines, okay? We're going to do this one. All right. So this is about rectangles too, but it's different, okay? Let's see. I'm going to do right here. So you're going to see. Ready? I'm going to do biggest first. Okay. This. Like this. See? I'm not doing no lines right here on the bottom. No lines. So then I'm going to do daughter line. Daughter line like this. See? Like segments. This is daughter lines. This one. You see that how this works? Okay, now I'm going to do another color. I'm going to start here with blue. And this one too. And this one too. I'm going to close here. See that? And then I'm going to do daughter line too. This is this one. Okay? This is this um, project. So I'm going to do daughter line too. Ready? I'm done here. You see here on the bottom, now lines, because we're going to cut from this part. Okay, now I'm going to get another color and I'm going to do another one. Right here. This is purple color. Okay, here. Now I need to do the daughter line again. Uh, no, we're gonna do like this because this this is this. This is this, right? You see that, right? Right here. Okay. So I now. I'm going to cut. Where are you going to cut? You're going to use the daughter line to cut the daughter line. So you don't cut, you're not going to cut the lines that is in color. So you're going to do like this. Ready? Daughter line. Daughter line. So now I have my first line like this. I'm not gonna drop it. I'm gonna use it. And I'm gonna put it on my construction paper because I wanna you see the things right here. So this is gonna be like this. Okay, now I'm gonna do the next one. Look at that. Ready? Right here, daughter line. And I'm gonna put in this right here. Like this. I'm gonna glue it like this. Then I'm gonna cut this one. Oh, no. 
We don't have to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna glue it. My three part of the rectangle, the lines, line lines, these different things. Okay, I'm gonna glue right here. Ready? Okay. I'm gonna glue it right here. See? Then I'm gonna turn over my paper because I wanna do this like this size. Like this. Different, right? That's funny. That's uh, something different. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here. And the last one, I'm gonna put it right here. See? Or maybe like this. Whatever. Oh, you can do it like this. It's cute, right? Okay. So this is your design, your design, no mine. This is your design, okay? Okay, and done. So this is my design. Okay, you guys working on it? Yes? Okay, so I have one, two, three designs for my cutting, complex cutting. So now I'm gonna do the triangle. But look at this, the, the corner. Do you see the corner, the point here? And all the lines is going right there. So let's draw. Okay, so I'm gonna do with blue. I'm gonna do this line right here. Then I'm gonna go up. Then I'm gonna go up. Right there. Okay, now I'm gonna do my daughter line. All the lines has to be here. Right this. Like this. Okay. See the pointy right here? All the lines together. Okay, now I'm gonna do another color. With green color. I'm gonna put in my green color right here. So all the lines together right here on the top. Now I'm gonna do the daughter line with brown. Okay, that's the work. Ready? Now I, this is this way, this one. Okay, now I'm gonna cut the paper. I'm gonna start ready I'm gonna start right here with the blue line And then I'm gonna cut there. I'm gonna start with the pointier right here. 
I'm gonna cut my daughter line. And I'm gonna do like this. This is separate, you see that? I'm gonna cut my phone here, right here. Then I'm gonna put in glue, because I'm gonna glue it right here on the green construction paper. I'm gonna put it pretty big here. So I'm gonna glue it right here. Okay, let's cut the, the other triangle. So it start on the point right here. Ready? I'm gonna cut the daughter line. Ready? Now done. This is the other triangle and this is the triangle that is less. Okay, so I'm gonna glue it right here. Uh, I'm gonna make it one design right here, okay? Let's see. Let's see. This is my first triangle. Then I'm gonna do this one. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna do like this. See? I'm gonna do like this. This glue is not good. Okay, so I have the last one. I'm gonna put it this way. Look at that. This way. This cute? I like that. Okay. What I say, this cute, this one, or this one? Maybe this one, yeah, this way. Let me put it on the bottom and see how this looks like. I'm putting it on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, it's like this. My triangle is like this. Okay, good job. No, we're not done. You need to show me. Show me your job. So don't worry because you need to practice more and more and more, okay? So let's see. I have four figures. Four shapes. This is both shapes. See how we can cut the lines? This way. So we can make an abstractions art with the different shapes. This case is triangle and this case is rectangles. Look at that. So we can make a different art project. This glue is not good, look at that. It's, it's not stick. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a glue, glue stick and it's not. Okay, so now you're gonna finish and show me how you can do it, how you do it. Which one is your design? 
because this is your design, no matter. I just doing one sample. I love this way. I don't like this way. Look at that. I, I can't believe it. Look at guys. I mean, let me see. <laughs> Big boys. Let me see the job. Okay, Gigi is still cut. I mean, Gigiana, you did that, Gigiana? Jackson, you're working good. Thank you. Keep going. What about Amaya? Amaya, you did that? Yes, Danishka, show me your construction paper. Thank you. Yes, good job. Good job, Danishka. Uh, Emmanuel is working too. Thank you. And um, yes, a ver, let me see. Uh huh, that's good, Emmanuel. That's good, very good. What about Sean? Show me, Sean. Show me your paperwork. Yes, I love it. Sean, this is looks like a robot, right? Yes, I love it. I, I love the, your design. Thank you for your imagination. I mean, let me see Jordan. Jordan, you did that? Yes, Jordan, this is so cute. Look at that. You did that, Jordan. Wow, it's amazing work. Good job. What about Camila? And you guys, you can color in, okay? You can color in, but don't broke it. That's beautiful work. Camila, you did that? Let me see, Camila. Tami. Camila Mia. Show me your work, Camila. Hello, I'm here. Yoo-hoo! Show me your work. No, no, don't don't show me these hands like this. Look at that. Don't show me your hands like this. Ah 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 ah. Doing you, you, you can do it shades and you can cut shades with the paper. Come on, Camila. Come on, you can do it, Camila. Come on. A ver, Sara, what happened? Sara, show me your work. No, don't show me this face, Sara. You better. Yes, I love it. That's good. You're working. And you know what, Sarah? You can get another color and do it one triangle, another triangle inside. That's good. Yes, you can do it, Sarah. Come on. You can draw another triangle inside to another triangle. Yes. Do it, do it. And it's going to be beautiful. I mean, let me see Jordan. Jordan, you did that, right? That's so cute, Jordan. That's so cute. Okay, Jordan. What? What happened? What do you say, Jordan? What do you say, Jordan? <laughs> okay, Jackson is working. Milan, show me your work. Show me what do you. Ay, mommy. Ay, mommy. Ay, mommy. Ya te vi. Ya te vi, mommy. Ah, this is good. Yes, we can do it. Very good job, Milan. And you can do it with different colors. You can do it different size, big S, small, medium, right? Ay, ya te vi, Emanuel. Ya te vi. <laughs> okay, mami, ¿está caliente? Ah, por eso se le está dando, porque está caliente. Te, te perdono. Te perdono. <laughs> okay, have fun, have fun. Okay, good. Okay. Make Emmanuel eating good. That's good. What about London? Oh, very, I, I want to see London. Okay. Oh, look at this smell. London, come on, show me. Okay. Okay, London, yes, you can cut, and you cut different sides of the triangles. You show me the triangle, let me see which one is, ah, this one. 
you can do like this. Good job, boy. You can do different colors. Then you, this is when, when this is dry, you can color it inside. Look, because this don't have a color, it's white. So if you color in different colors, wow, this is going to be beautiful. May I can show you? Okay. Boy, Gigiana, I, I, Amaya. Amaya, what happened? What happened, Amaya? You get out? You don't want to work with Miss Luz today? No? I, you can't. Yes, good job, Amaya. Okay, you're doing the, the square, right? You're doing the square. Okay, yes, Amaya, you're doing the square. So let's see. Like I told him, like I told Mr. London that we can color in inside. Look, uh, we can color in inside, and this is going to be beautiful too. Pay attention. Look, we can color it red inside. Just the white part. And this is more, make it more visible, our job, our abstracted art. Like this, this is broken right here. Okay, I'm gonna do right here, up and down, short lines. I, 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 I go into the green part. And this is broken here. And this is broken here. This is beautiful art, you see? We trace lines, we cut shapes, and we make an art. Okay, I'm gonna color in this part. Okay, and inside. And then I'm gonna go outside. Look. Oh yeah, yeah. This glue, I don't, I don't like this glue. Wow. I know this is a lot of work that I'm doing it here, but you can do it at home because you have more time. I have to do faster because it's 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 cut. Making shapes, cut, and then coloring. If you want to color in before you cut, you can do it. Look, see how beautiful it looks like? I cut different things. And this is my abstracted art with that shapes. Okay, so then you can color in these two. And then you can color in this one too. And then you can color in this one too. Okay? Okay, so for now I'm done. I'm gonna call Miss Jessica and she's gonna do one job with you. Okay? So I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you that Miss Jessica is gonna work with you about the match the job to the tools match the job to the tools. So, you know, too many people working around to us. Too many people working around to us. When we are driving, the adults driving car, look at that. These people help to us to fix in the car. You know who is that? The mechanic. And mechanics use tools. For example, this has one tool on his hands. But I don't know what is this called. It, it's, it's something, I don't know. Can somebody help me? What, what is this called? Water French. A what? It's a torch. A tor it's, it's a ratchet. And the ratchet. <laughs> Miss Jessica knows. I don't know. Okay. When I always, you know, my car is not good. I say to my brother, go and fix in the the, the well because I can do that. So they know what is this the name of these people. And look at this, they use it different dress, right? They dress like mechanics. Always the mechanics use hat.
because it's a lot well we uh, oil and the dark thing that it smells so yucky what overalls yes so miss jessica is going to talking about this and these people too look at this man this man is dressing too i'm waiting for miss jessica but i'm going to talk in a little bit she's going to explain this okay oh i have another people right here look at that Hey, how are you? I think, oh, yes, this is a doctor. Okay, Ms. Jessica is going to talk in about the community helper and work on this paperwork, okay? So get ready for Ms. Jessica. Then Ms. Jessica is going to do one experiment. Very good, um, very good job. Okay, come on, let's go. Hey, okay. Hi. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hello. How are you guys? Hello, Milan. Hello, Manuel. Hello, Camila. Kingston. Sean. Tara. Jordan, how are you guys? Okay, now. Did you guys grab this paper for me? Can grab this paper for me and we're going to talk about this, okay? Now, before we get started, like Ms. Lou says, we're going to talk about community helpers. Like, this is a community helper, a firefighter. The firefighter makes sure that if a fire were to happen, they put it out. They help people. They, okay, they have to wear these big coats that are, okay, because these coat, this jacket and these pants protect them from flames of the fire. And this is another community helper. This lady looks like a doctor. She makes sure that you guys are healthy and are up and not sick. So, now, I want you guys, you guys can grab a marker if you like, like what I'm doing. And if you can grab this paper, okay. Now, <laughs> now, I now, right here. This is a little machine, or actually, this is a little instrument. Let's see. Amaya, do you have this paper with you? No? If you guys have this paper with you, give me a thumbs up. No? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see Miss Gia has it. Good, Gia. I see Miss Tanishka has it. Good. Okay. Now, now, what we are going to do is says, draw a line to match each community helper with their job title and then with their tools they use, okay? Each community helper uses their tools. So, up here, this is a, it's a firefighter. So, firefighter would go right here. Bye -bye. Right says firefighter. Can you guys see? It? 
Okay, can you guys see? Give me a thumbs up if you can see, okay? Firefighter. And firefighters, which tool is a firefighter gonna need? Is he gonna need a stethoscope? No. Is he going to need handcuffs? No, firefighters don't use handcuffs. No. Will he need a chalkboard? I love you. Give me, no. So, what about here? There's a fire hydrant with water and the hose. Yes, you're right, Ran. So, he'll need it right up here, okay? Now, our next community helper is a police officer. Yeah. My brother actually is a police officer. So that means, so they're community helpers. Police officer, right here. So, would a police officer need a stethoscope? Give me a thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Do police officers need stethoscope? No, <laughs> no. Would a police officer need a comb and scissors? <laughs> no. What about handcuffs? Do policemen need handcuffs? Give me a thumbs up yes, thumbs down no. Yes. The police officer needs handcuffs. Why? Because, and the reason why, because unfortunately sometimes there's people that are not good they're and he uses these handcuffs to make sure that they can't hurt anybody or themselves. So these help, so these handcuffs help the policemen keep us safe, okay? Now, we have this picture here of a doctor. So, doctor goes right here. Doctor. Now, let me ask, now, Zara, let me ask you something, honey. Will the doctor, is she gonna need a chalkboard? Does she need a chalkboard? No, I didn't think so. Sean, 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 what happened, Sean? Why are you upset? What's going on, buddy? What happened? Now, Sean, I'm gonna ask you a question, okay? The doctor here, is she gonna need a tractor? Does she need a tractor? No, no, good. Ryan, when you go to the doctor, does she use a stethoscope? Yes, she uses a stethoscope. And this little tool, it may be a little cold, but she uses that to hear your heart, to hear your heartbeat go thump, 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 thump. Okay, the next one I see, this picture is a teacher, like me, and Miss Luce. So Miss Luce, you and me are community helpers. Yes, yes we, we are. are. Yes. Because we are a teacher. We are teachers, yes. Now, let me ask a question. 
Wynn, me, Miss Luce, Miss Karina, do you think we'll need a tractor to work with you guys? No, that'd be silly. I don't think so, Miss Luce. We wouldn't need a tractor, no. What about a wrench? This little wrench right here. Do we use wrenches? No. Now, some costumes may have these, but some don't. But do you think a teacher will need a chalkboard? Do we use, yes. Yeah, some don't use them anymore because now a lot of school classrooms have dry erase markers. But back then, there was a time we needed chalkboards. So, our next community helper is a farmer. A farmer is a community helper because they have, they grow plants, vegetables, fruits, and have certain animals so we can eat. Without farms, we couldn't eat. Did you know that? So, a farmer, is he gonna need, let me, let me ask, come on. Does a farmer need a comb and scissors to work? Give me a thumbs up, yes, thumbs down, no. No. Ryan, let me ask this. Would a farmer need scissors and a comb to work? No, no, that would never do. Sean, would a farmer need a tractor to work? Give me a th thumbs up for yes. Yes, because a farmer cannot cut that, cannot plow anything without a tractor. It's impossible. Now, we have a next community helper. There's a man under this car right here. He's called a mechanic. So, if your mommy or daddy's car sounds funny, they have to take it to a mechanic to make sure it's working properly. So, what a mechanic, so am I. So, Camila, would a mechanic need scissors? And a, no. Would he need a wrench? Would he need a wrench to work? I think so, yes. Yes, the mechanic needs wrench because he would not be able to do anything. He wouldn't be able to screw on anything or fix anything without that wrench. Now, I see here the last picture, a lady with a hairdryer. She's called a hairdresser. She makes everybody's hair look so nice. So she gives haircuts. So yes, the ladies that cut her hair, they're community helpers. So, hairdresser. So, when you, so Kingston, when, do you go get haircuts? Huh? Sean, do you go for haircuts? No, you don't get it. You never gotten a haircut. You get haircuts. You've gotten a haircut before. Yes, you have, you silly goose. Yes, you have. So, when... Mm -hmm. Good. So, would she need scissors? So, Sean, would she need scissors and a comb to cut your hair? Yes. Yes. So, let me show you... So, let me show you guys my work, okay? How did you guys do? Yeah. 
Tanishka, you did a very good job. Derek! How are you, Derek? Oh, Ryan, let me see your paper. Oh, you did a great job. You did. Now, we're gonna put this down for a minute because like Ms. Lou says, I have something special for you guys, okay? I have a little experiment for you. All right, so give me a moment. I'm gonna actually get prepared, okay? Let me grab the things I need. I'm gonna take it. Now, now, okay, before we get started, let me show you what I have. I'm going to have my cups right here, okay? I have my cups right here. I'm going to open them. And it's okay. I have some water. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour some water in each of these cups. Just a little bit. Let me show. Personal special watercolor paints, okay? If you guys have some of these at home, you can actually do this with me, okay? I think I'm going to use red right here. I'm gonna get yellow. so easy. I 
have a little black cup here to hem so I'm going to add a little bit in here. I'm going to add a little bit here too. Just going to keep adding them a little in each one. Okay. Now I'm just gonna add a little. Sh I have some sugar here. I'm just gonna add a little bit in each one. camera a little bit. Now I'm going to blow. Look! Look at the bubbles I'm making! Look! It's loose. I'm going to blow bubbles in each one. a piece of paper up here. Ah! It's loose. Look! I'm going to try it again with a different color. I grabbed the paste paper and I put it on top. color on the paper? Huh? I'm going to try one more color. I'm placing it on my paper. I see? No. I have a black marker. I'm going to use this. No. I'm going to draw some branches. I 
like this. I got a black marker. See? Is right here, and I can have you guys see the colors in the trees. Do you guys like this experiment? Yeah, yeah, what do you think? This is in my trees. I have a pink tree, a blue tree, and an orange tree. Would you guys like to see some other colors? Yeah, I want to see have some other colors so. I'm gonna actually, okay. I'm gonna actually blow some right here. Put my paper over here. Oh, I'll try a little more. Hmm? Ah. This is called bubble art. See? This is called bubble art trees. Putting the paper over my cup. Uh, I may have to try this one again. Drawing some branches right here. What do you think? <laughs> now, we'll do one more. Because I actually like doing this with you guys. Let's try yellow. What do you guys think, huh? Do you guys like yellow? Give me a thumbs up. No, Camila, you don't like yellow. <laughs> I'm going to blow up my bubbles. Thank you. 
I get my paper, put it across the sheet, over my cup. Maybe we can get a little more yellow. We got a little yellow here. I'm gonna get some orange. I'm putting the paper over my cut. I'm gonna try this green. bubbles like I did? Huh? Give me a thumbs up if you blow bubbles like I did. No? Alright, so. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. I spelled this. It's okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up my area so that this list can get ready for you guys. Okay? I'm just going to put everything together. this to the side. Over here. I'm going to take this rug. And maybe we can do, do a little stretching for a few minutes. All right. I'm sorry. Or yoga or one two. All right. I'm actually gonna read a story to you guys. Okay. I just want to clean up my area. I'm 
I'm going to read this story to you guys. When Dinosaurs Came with Everything by Elise Broach, illustrated by David Small. When you hear this sound, it's time to turn the page. Friday is errand day. My mom goes on boring errands and I have to go with her. And this Friday seemed like every other Friday until we got to the bakery. A sign above the donuts read, buy a dozen, get a dinosaur. I couldn't believe my eyes. Neither could my mom. They must mean a toy, she said. But when I took the box of donuts, the lady behind the counter said, Hold on, little guy. Don't forget your dinosaur. And there he was. Mom, I yelled. It was a triceratops. What? cried my mom. She did not look happy. How are we supposed to get that home? The bakery lady smiled. Oh, don't worry. He'll follow you. <laughs> they always do. And he did, all the way to the doctor's office, where I had to go for my checkup. My mom shook her head. What are we going to do with him now? She looked him up and down. That took a while. We can't bring him inside, she said finally. He'll have to stay in the parking lot. I told him not to talk to strangers. After my checkup, I asked for a sticker, like usual. No stickers today, said the nurse. Just dinosaurs. With a shot, you get two. I want a shot, I said. The nurse smiled. Not today, buddy, but you can pick up your dinosaur at the front desk. Mom! I yelled. There, at the front desk, was a stegosaurus. What on earth is going on? My mom cried. It's a special day, the nurse explained. Today, dinosaurs come with everything. Yes! I said, no, my mom groaned. We walked down the street, and my Triceratops and my Stegosaurus walked right behind us. Thud, thud, thud. They made friends right away. Across the street, other kids had dinosaurs too. I saw an Ankylosaur a duckbill, and a velociraptor. We all waved at each other. Our mothers glared and kept on walking. I think we better go home right now, my mom said. But what about my haircut? The barber's waiting for me. My mom looked at the dinosaurs. Then she looked at my bangs. The barber always gives you a balloon, doesn't he? A nice balloon? Uh-huh, I said. I didn't want a balloon. I wanted a barasaur. At the barber shop, I gave my Triceratops and my Stegosaurus donuts for a snack. They waited outside and watched through the glass. The barber pumped the chair up high. He cut my hair too short, but I didn't mind, because then he patted my head and said, Wait right here, sport. He was gone for a long time. My mom tapped her foot. I don't like this, she said. Where exactly do they keep the balloons? Just then, the barber came back with something flying over his head. It wasn't a balloon. I yelled. It was a pterosaur. This is too much, my mom protested. 
Now listen, she said to the barber, I think a balloon will do just fine today. Don't you have any balloons? Sorry, lady, no balloons. You can get one of these instead. It was like that everywhere we went. At the shoe store, the sign read, buy two pair, get dinosaur for free. My mom decided my shoes would last a while longer. At the theater, we could hear the popcorn man shouting, butter, no butter, you want a dinosaur with that? My mom said, we'd go to the movies another day. At the diner, I wanted to stop for a hamburger. But then a girl walked out with a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay, that's it, my mom cried. We are definitely not having lunch there. She looked at my Triceratops, my Stegosaurus, and my Pterosaur. What are we supposed to do with all of these dinosaurs? We don't have room for them. We can't take care of them. I hugged her leg. Don't worry, Mom. They can live in the backyard. My mom shook her head. Sweetheart, they're not toys. Dinosaurs are a lot of work. But Mom, look, they eat anything and they sleep outside. I'll do everything, I promise. Please, Mom, please. My mom sighed. Well, I suppose we can't just leave them here. Thank heavens we didn't stop at the diner. We hurried home, and my dinosaurs hurried after us. Thud, thud, thud. Flap, flap, flap. When we were almost there, we saw a little duck-billed dinosaur standing alone on the street corner. He looked lost. Mom, that's a baby hadrosaur. He's all by himself. Sweetie, we've already got our hands full. The hadrosaur followed us. It wasn't my fault. When we got home, my mom needed to lie down. So I made lunch for the dinosaurs. Then I showed them where to go to the bathroom. I told them to stay out of the neighbor's yard because of his mean dog. And I showed them my slide, my tire swing, and all the toys in the garage. They seemed to be having fun, but they really went wild when I took out my frisbee. The hadrosaur had the first throw. The frisbee landed on the roof. I saw my mom watching from the window. Is everything all right out there? She asked. Everything's fine, mom. We can get it down. And my pterosaur flew up and plucked the frisbee out of the gutter. My mom kept watching. She looked at him for a long time. The next thing I knew, she had him cleaning the gutters. Then she came out to the backyard with a pile of wet clothes. These spikes come in handy, don't they? She said. Pretty soon, my mom had thought of chores for all of my dinosaurs. But I knew they didn't mind. It just meant they were part of the family. When we were finished helping, my mom said I could invite some friends over. It was a bring your own dinosaur party. And guess what happened next? I heard my mom on the phone to the bakery. She asked, do you have any donuts left? And that's when I knew everything would be just fine. Did you guys like that story? When Dinosaurs Came with Everything by Elise Brooch, illustrated by David Small. Okay. Did you guys like that story?
All right. Okay. Now I'm going to introduce Miss Luce. She has something for you guys, okay? Whenever you're ready, Miss Luce. I'm just going to put this in here. Okay. I'll see you guys very soon, okay? Okay, guys. Um, Miss Jessica, can I have uh, yellow construction paper, please? Okay. Okay. Hello, Derek. Thank you so much. Okay. Hello, hi, how are you? Who is that? Who is that? Derek, this is your sister? Yes, this is your sister, Derek. Hi, beautiful girl. Wow, she's so cute. Okay, so guys, let's go work. Um, I don't know what happened with Omar. I'm missing Omar. Why is not Omar here? Why? Look, I have this one. Do you want to do that? Camila. You don't want to do this, this Lala? Why? You don't have the paper. You have it? You have the addition monkey, okay. Okay, you wanna do the addition monkey? Or if this is addition or subtraction? What's that? All right, let me get my papers. They give me, I have my paper right here. Yes, you have this, look, this one, this is the addition. This is subtraction. Subtraction frog. Um, subtraction monkey. And we have this one. Look. This is addition frog. Right? The addition frog. Okay. And this one is a subtraction monkey. Okay. So we can do frog first. Okay. We can do frog first. Then we can do um subtraction monkey ready what why this is like that i amaya too subtraction yes amaya <laughs> okay no no frog monkey monkey or subtraction i you made me crazy which one monkey or frog Frog? Yes, this is frog. <laughs> okay, guys, one of you guys say yes, and one, one other one say no. So, okay, let's do this. I have three subtraction monkeys. I have this one, it's really easy. I have this one. And I'm gonna do one of those, okay? Okay, I'm gonna do six minus four. You have six minus four? Six minus four. It's the first one right here, six minus four. Do you have it? If you don't have it, you can write it with me and I'm gonna show you how. 
Ready, Amaya, you have it? Do you have it, Amaya, or mommy can help you to write it down, right, mommy? Okay, so let's do it. Because we have to choose one. Here, this one. Uh, let me see my, my pin. Okay, this is the paper. So this says subtraction using a number line. And the first one is six minus four. Six minus four, right? Okay, let's do it. Are you ready? So if you don't have your paper, if you don't print and you're not gonna get the copies from the school, so I'm gonna do right here with the paper. So six minus four equals, six minus four is equals, ready? Okay, so I'm gonna do the line. One line like this. This called segment in, in math. This is gonna be with the arrow, with the arrow like this, arrow like this. So this is like an arrow, see? And we're gonna do segments in between. So I'm gonna do with a red marker. Pay attention, eyes on me, look. One, two, three, four, five, six. You see that? What I'm making? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. It's the same that the paper having right here. Look at that. The same. If you're not print, you can do it like me. We can do it like this. Okay, now, here. This says six minus four. So I'm gonna get, this is the answer already. How this is gonna be the answer? Look at me. I'm gonna do six first. So I'm gonna start one, two, three, four, five, six. This is six. And I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna take out with the blue one, how many? Four, so I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. I'm not gonna go this way, I'm going back. So I'm gonna take it out. One, two, three, and four. All right, let me see. Now everybody can see two, I take it out four blue, and I'm, I take it six minus four, minus four. Which one is the answer? Look at the answer right here. The answer is, I'm gonna do with, what color? Yellow. Let me do it with yellow, all right, let me see. This is the answer, two. Everybody can see the answer. That's why the way that we working. The lesson of Montessori is working like this. The red one is the wood sticks. And we use it blue and red sticks and we can make it the answer. So I'm gonna do with the paper that I'm writing down, look. I'm gonna do right here. I'm gonna do right here. So this is the numbers that I'm gonna write it. One. Two, three, four, five, six, right? So I'm gonna go with purple to make a six. This is six. So now I'm gonna do this. A six, I'm gonna take it out four. 
One, two, three, four. Which one is the answer? One, two. This is the answer. One, two, three, four. This is the answer. So the answer is going to be on black. A ver, what is on black? Black, right here. So this is the answer. Two is the answer. Okay. Can everybody look in that? Ready? Okay. So I'm gonna do the next one. Right here. Okay, right here on the paper. Uh, this says 13 minus five. So I'm gonna get my color, red color, and I'm gonna do to 13. This is starting, look at this. And I'm gonna draw the, I know, right here, sorry. 13, 13 is right here. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I covered all the 13 tens. So I'm going back because I'm gonna take it out five. How I'm gonna go by with five. One, two, three, four, five. This is five. Which is the answer? 13 minus five. The answer is eight. Eight. This is the answer. Number eight, I'm gonna circle. This is the answer, number eight. Okay, I'm gonna do the next one. Ready? I'm gonna get my red marker and I'm gonna do here, eight minus two. I'm gonna make a mistake right here, see yes. I'm gonna, I'm not see the first number, it was three minus two. Ay, 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 I don't see this number. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna go over to my 13 minus five. I'm gonna go right here, right here. Ready? So 13 minus five. This is 30, right here. 30 minus five. I'm gonna take it out five. One, I, this is not working. My, one, two, three, four, five. See, I'm gonna take it out five right here. And which is the answer? I'm, I'm gonna circle it with black color. This is the answer, eight. Now I'm gonna do eight minus two. So I'm gonna get eight. Right here is, look at the dots. The dots is right there, eight with red. You're gonna do whatever color you want. Okay, I take it eight. So now I'm gonna take it out two, minus two. With what color? Blue, I use it blue. So this is one, two. This is my blue. A ver, now tell me which one is the answer. Which one is the answer? Six. Six is the answer. I'm gonna get my marker, blue marker, 
black marker and I'm gonna cover with my black marker. This is the answer. So now I'm gonna do 13 minus six. 13 minus six. Okay, so I'm gonna get my red marker and I'm gonna do 13. Look at the dot right here. See the dot? This is 13. So I go and write there. I'm marking 13. Then I'm gonna take it out six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna do six. Which is my answer? Which is my answer, Derek? You know my answer, Jordan? Which is, who's, who can say the answer? Who can say to me with the fingers the answer? Somebody can tell me the answer right here? Nobody? Ay, ay, ay. What happened with my kids? Talk to me with the fingers, with your fingers. Show me with you. No, not, yes, Jordan, seven. My answer is right here. Look, it's very easy. When I'm stuck with blue, this is the answer, seven. You see the answer right there? Ay, 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 a seven. Now let's do the next one. That's very easy. This is very easy, just pay attention. Now we're gonna do the last one right here. Nine, I'm sorry, 10 minus nine. 10 minus nine. Okay, this is a 10, look at that right here. Very easy. So I'm going with doing it right, 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 right. So I'm going back because I need to take it out nine. Ready? I need to take it out nine. So I'm going back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right? Now I'm gonna stand right there. Oh, this is with my blue. That's my blue marker. Which one is the answer? Can you tell me with your fingers? I think that you know that the answer right there. Oh, no, this is not the answer, sorry. No, right here. Now, you can tell me the answer, please. Yes, Amaya is one. I'm gonna circle it with my black marker. Is one. One is the answer because I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with blue color. Do you understand what is this works? How this works? Why oh, do it so faster? Yes, yes, Gia. I do it so faster? No. I do it so good, right? I do it so good. Okay. So this paper has to be like this. Right? Very easy. Let's do the next one. Ready to do the next one? That's is easy, pay attention. I'm gonna do it slow. I'm gonna do it slow. Okay, look. The next one say, the first one say, five minus four. Five minus four. So I'm gonna get the red marker, pay attention. This says five right here, look at the dots. So I'm going to mark it with the black, red marker. This is five. See the line, red line? Okay, look at Manuel. Emmanuel, look at that. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Look, this is red line right here. And this is five. So now I'm gonna take Take out four. So when I'm take out four, 
I'm going back. I'm going back to number one. So I'm gonna get one here. No, okay. And four. Like this. So I'm gonna go back. Ay, 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 look at my lights. Okay, and then my answer is right here under the number. Which is the answer? Can somebody tell me? Uh oh. Uh, I see the answer right here. One. That's the answer. It's very, very easy. You don't have to do nothing more. Okay, let's keep going. I have here the number is eight minus three. So eight is here. I'm going back and I'm going to take out three. I'm going to take out three. So let's see which one is the answer. One, two, three. Okay, eight minus three equals? Show me with your finger. Eight minus three equals? Five, good job, gorgeous. Five, this is my answer, five. You can see that? Yes? Okay, let's keep going. I'm going to do that one, one more. 16, ah, pardon, 19, sorry. 19 is right here. Oh, this is biggest. Look, 19 is here, look. So I'm going to do my lines right here. Look at that. Ooh. It's a long line. Long to 19, right? Okay, so now, I'm going to take out six. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, which one is the answer? 19 minus six equals, can somebody tell me the answer right here? 13, yes, good job, Camilla, woohoo, woohoo. 13 is the answer. These monkeys to stretch on, that's so good. Okay, now keep going. Next is gonna be, oh yeah, yeah. seven minus two, seven minus two. Okay, let's do it. Seven, red line. And I'm gonna take it two. I'm gonna take it two. One, two. Seven minus two equals, can somebody tell me the answer right here? Five, yes, good job. You're doing faster, Sean, good job. Five is the answer. It's really easy. And this is subtraction. Good job, bodies. Bodies, bodies, good job. Okay, now, good, doing here, nine minus five. So let's do nine. Nine is with the red color right here. This is nine. Now I'm gonna take out five. So I count one, two, three, four, five. Remember guys, tomorrow is Friday, woo! Friday we're gonna do something funny. Tomorrow, you are gonna do something funny, like a <laughs> like a woo, do do do, like a wee 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 wee, something like that. Okay, which one is the answer right here? Can somebody tell me the answer? Can somebody tell me the answer right there? Four, yes, Sean, Sean is wake up. No more sleeping. Good job, Sean, it's four. 
The answer is four. Now keep going. Let's do the last one and not no more. Not no more. Okay, so six minus four. So I'm going to do the line with two six red line and I'm gonna take it two. I'm gonna take it out. One, two, three, four. Okay, this is four. Can somebody tell me the answer right here, the last one? Come on, tell me. Which, uh, ah, yes, good job, Sad, Ryan, good job. That is number two. The answer is two. Right. Mm -hmm. The answer is two. So I'm going to do right here. Look at that. Very, very, very easy. Very, very, very easy. So you need to do that. This is my paperwork, and I want to see your paperwork. I want to see your paperwork. Ready? Let me see your paperwork. And this is the other paperwork. Because the first one, I make a mistake with the first, then this one. Okay, good job, guys. Guys, uh, this time is time to say bye bye. So, me, Jessica, can you make me a favor, please? Uh, looking at the little table for the schedule for tomorrow. We're going to talk in about tomorrow, please. So, if we can do it tomorrow, let's do this uh, with the yellow color construction paper or with the painting tomorrow, okay? We can do it, Dahlia, tomorrow. We can paint it with the finger or we can do it with the paper. Okay. Right there, the little table. No, you don't know where I'm putting the schedules for the day. Next to the shelf for signs. Right there. Yes, 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 yes. You got it. Down. See the date? Yes, thank you so much. Okay, look at that. That's the schedule for tomorrow. So we're gonna do this art tomorrow with a chart. Tisa, we're gonna do tomorrow, chart. You're gonna get different colors and we're gonna do this bird. If you looking at the link and clicking right there on the link, you can see how this works, okay? So we're going to do the farmer. We're going to do the farmer tomorrow. Animals is coming here. And the tractor and the la vaca lola. And we're going to sing la vaca lola. Ready? Yes. La vaca lola, la vaca lola. Tiene cabeza y tiene cola. Yo sé. Moo. Tomorrow we're gonna sing in that one. Vamos a, let's, we're gonna work it with uh, farmer animals. We're gonna work it with the sidewalk shark. We're gonna do uh, an extension red robe brown skirts and pink towel. Oh my God, this is gonna be a biggest. We're gonna use a red robe, brown steps, and pink towel to everything together. Wow, how is this gonna be? And look at that, we're gonna do a maracas. You're gonna get a plastic X, right? And two plastic spoons. We're gonna make it together with the tape. Then we're gonna decorate it, whatever you have a tape, uh, you have a stickers, we can put in a stickers. And inside to the X has to be beans, black beans, uh, Pasta, whatever, make it the sounds for. No, don't go away. Go away, wait, wait, Camila. I'm talking. <laughs> I'm talking. Don't be crazy. Okay, so this is gonna be for tomorrow, and Jessica's gonna do another work project. It's gonna be called marble paper with shaving cream. So this is gonna be for tomorrow. Okay, guys. So get ready for tomorrow. Okay. Don't be late. Twelve o'clock. 12 o'clock, I want all the kids right here. Okay, get ready to say bye-bye.
So I hope so tomorrow everybody's working with me. So you can, if you want to do this to, for home, please do it and I'm going to review tomorrow. Okay? You can work this at home. And we can do tomorrow if you want. Oh, Sean, you're so tired. I'm not tired. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye. Goodbye everybody. Thank you for staying with us. I love you. I love you so much, Gia. Tomorrow we're going to see you, okay? And we're going to work tomorrow. We're going to eat pizza. Yes. We're going to eat pizza. We're going to do a farmer. We're going to do a fun things, okay? So everybody can stay here and come in. Bye, Juliana. Bye, Derek. Bye, Sean. Now you can say bye-bye, Camilla. But I wanted these popsicles on my mouth. I'm so thirsty, girl. Can you show me this popsicle? No, this is not fair. You're gonna give it to me, put it on my mouth. Ah, that's delicious. Thank you so much for staying with, it, with us. I'm gonna stay with you tomorrow too, okay? And we're gonna work in so funny. Okay, bye-bye, see you tomorrow. Bye bye, Ryan. Bye bye, Sean. Bye bye, Julia. Bye bye, Milan. Amaya. Mommy's Maya, too. Thank you so much. Tanishka, bye bye. See you tomorrow, Tanishka. Love you. Jordan, bye bye. Sara, bye bye. Gigiana, bye bye. Everybody, bye bye.